The Crab Nebula, one of the most studied and iconic astronomical objects, is a supernova remnant and pulsar wind nebula in the constellation of Taurus. First observed in the year 1054 AD by Chinese astronomers, it has since become a cornerstone in the study of cosmic phenomena. In this video, we delves into the rich history, intriguing characteristics and scientific significance of the Crab Nebula. The Crab Nebula was first recorded by Chinese astronomers in 1054 AD as a guest star that shone brightly in the sky for weeks, even visible in daylight. Japanese, Arabic, and Native American records also document this event. However, its connection to the supernova remnant we see today wasn't made until centuries later. In 1731, John Beavis rediscovered the nebula, and it was independently observed by Charles Messier in 1758, who included it as the first object, M1, in his famous catalog of nebulae and star clusters. Spanning about 11 light years across and located approximately 6,500 light years from Earth, the Crab Nebula is a complex and dynamic structure. It consists of a central pulsar, a rapidly rotating neutron star, surrounded by a cloud of gas and dust. The nebula's intricate filaments and tendrils are remnants of the progenitor star's outer layers, ejected during the supernova explosion. At the heart of the Crab Nebula lies the Crab Pulsar, PSR B0531-21, discovered in 1968. This neutron star spins at an astonishing rate of 30 times per second, emitting beams of electromagnetic radiation that sweep across Earth, producing a pulsating effect. The pulsar's intense magnetic field and rapid rotation generate a wind of charged particles, which energize the nebula and produce its luminous glow. The Crab Nebula emits across the entire electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to gamma rays. Its emissions are predominantly synchrotron radiation, produced by high-energy electrons spiraling along magnetic field lines. The nebula's complex spectra have provided insights into various physical processes, including particle acceleration and magnetic field interactions. The Crab Nebula has been a critical object of study for understanding supernovae, neutron stars, and cosmic ray production. Its relatively young age and well-documented origin offer a unique opportunity to observe the evolution of a supernova remnant in real time. Astronomers use the Crab Nebula as a cosmic laboratory to study high-energy astrophysical processes. The nebula's synchrotron radiation has been crucial in understanding how particles are accelerated to near light speeds. Additionally, the pulsar's precise timing serves as a natural clock, allowing scientists to test theories of general relativity and the interstellar medium. The Crab Nebula's brightness and relatively stable emission make it a standard calibration source for X-ray and gamma-ray telescopes. Instruments like the Chandra X-ray Observatory and the Hubble Space Telescope frequently observe the nebula to ensure their measurements are accurate. Recent Discoveries Advancements in observational technology continue to reveal new facets of the Crab Nebula. High-resolution images from the Hubble Space Telescope have shown intricate details of the nebula's filamentary structure, while the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope has detected surprisingly high-energy gamma rays, challenging existing models of particle acceleration. New films showcasing two of the most renowned celestial objects, the Crab Nebula and Cassiopeia A, have been unveiled by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory. These movies, compiled from X-ray data gathered by Chandra over approximately 20 years, reveal significant changes in the debris and radiation left after the explosions of two massive stars in our galaxy. The Crab Nebula, born from a supernova explosion witnessed by Chinese and other astronomers in 1054, is located 6,500 light years from Earth. At its core lies a neutron star, an incredibly dense object formed by the supernova. This neutron star spins about 30 times per second, 
sending beams of radiation across Earth like a cosmic lighthouse. As this young pulsar decelerates, it releases vast amounts of energy into its surroundings. A high-speed wind of matter and antimatter particles crashes into the surrounding nebula, creating a shock wave that forms a visible ring. Jets from the pulsar's poles eject X-ray emitting particles perpendicular to this ring. Over 22 years, Chandra has observed the Crab Nebula many times. This extensive observation period allows astronomers to see clear changes in both the ring and jets, unlike previous shorter time-lapse movies, which covered just five months between 2000 and 2001 and seven months between 2010 and 2011. The extended timeline highlights fascinating variations, including whip-like movements in the X-ray jet, observable only in this longer movie. Chandra will conduct new observations later this year to monitor changes in the jet since early 2022. The second remarkable feature is Cassiopeia A, Cass A, the remnants of a supernova that exploded about 340 years ago, as seen from Earth. Previous Chandra movies of Cass A included data from 2000 to 2013, but this new movie extends from 2000 to 2019. The outer region of Cass A shows the expanding blast wave of the explosion, akin to sonic booms from a supersonic jet. These shock waves accelerate particles to energies higher than those produced by Earth's most powerful accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider. As the blast wave moves outward, it encounters surrounding material, slowing down and creating a second shock wave that travels backward, similar to a traffic jam moving backward from an accident. Cass A has been a frequent target for Chandra observations. It was Chandra's first official image in 1999, soon after the space shuttle Columbia launched the observatory into orbit. Chandra then discovered a point source of X-rays in Cass A's center, identified later as a neutron star. Over the years, Chandra has revealed a superfluid inside Cass A's neutron star, shown that the original massive star might have turned inside out as it exploded and contributed to understanding how massive stars explode. Chandra has also mapped elements from the star, now seeding the next generation of stars and planets. Recently, Chandra data combined with NASA's James Webb Space Telescope helped unravel the origin of mysterious structures within the remnant. The latest Cass A movie was created using advanced processing techniques led by Yusuke from Rikyo University in Japan, making full use of Chandra's sharp X-ray vision. Their work is published in the Astrophysical Journal and available online. These two movies demonstrate Chandra's ability to capture changes in astronomical objects over human timescales. Such documentation is made possible by Chandra's extensive archives, serving as public repositories for data collected over nearly 25 years of operations. NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center manages the Chandra program, with the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory's Chandra X-ray Center, overseeing science from Cambridge, Massachusetts, and flight operations from Burlington, Massachusetts.